Hello everyone, my name is Jyoti Sharan. I'm second year PhD student at Penn State. And in today's video, I'll be discussing how did I get the fully funded PhD position with the highest scholarship awarded by the university at Penn State. So let us begin. So let us first start with my educational background. I fi finished my physics honors from University of Delhi, uh, which is a BSc degree, but with the honors. Uh, it is a three-year program. So after finishing my uh, PhD, sorry, after finishing my bachelor's, I was very confused what to do. Should I go for MBA? Should I go for MSc? Uh, should I apply to abroad? But uh, when while I was thinking to apply to abroad, there was a problem that I cannot apply directly because of the three-year uh, degree. Mostly in the foreign universities, they recognize the four-year graduation degree. So that's why I decided, like, I knew, like, I have to do, like, one master's from India. And I was more inclined towards science instead of management. So I decided to, instead of writing CAT, I decided to um, prepare for this exam called IIT JAM on my, in my, during my final year. And that very year, I cleared IIT JAM, which is an entrance exam for MSc, which is organized uh, by IITs. And then I um, entered IIT. Uh, I, uh, through the counseling, I got IIT Dhanbar uh, for Master MSc in Physics. And then I decided to pursue, like, there, after going there, I got to know more about the research because I didn't have so much research idea. Although Delhi University is a good college, but I have to give it more the theoretical aspects pe diya jata hai as compared to the uh, research part of it. So when I entered IIT, I realized like, oh, everybody is working a lot in the in research instead of focusing only on the theoretical part. So then um, uh, we also had one internship, compulsory internship. So I did my internship from Inter University Accelerator Center. And um, there I got to know like, what is the job role of scientists? And I was very motivated. Like one day I also want to do that. And I met like a lot of people during that time uh, who were very much interested into science. Be it scientists, there were like a lot of conference happening every week. So uh, that motivated me uh, a lot to become a scientist. And all the students, uh, all of us who were doing uh, internship during that time are right now doing PhD from very great institute like UCLA, Cornell, or from Max Plan, or from other colleges. So like we were highly motivated towards science and also got like a lot of opportunity while interacting with scientists from abroad um, at that time. So Tabibi, I was not very sure whether I should go for this because I belong from a state called like state in Haryana where like most of uh, the people go for government job. Abhi bhi mera inclination tha thoda about government job ke liye. And I was thinking, okay, maybe I can go for, uh, you know, UPSC or other exam. Still, I was not sure. But um, my inclination towards research was like very much solidified by doing the final master's thesis project. So again, I think your environment plays a very important role. Play karta hai. Aapka, uh, kya career choose karna chaate hai usme. So like my GRF who used to teach me also got the postdoc opportunity from uh, from um, like USA, England. Right now also he's doing postdoc from Northwestern. He's doing his second postdoc. So I was very much surrounded by people who were doing really good. So us time pe mujhe pata chala ki haan, PhD uh, ke baad bhi bahut sahi opportunities hai. Ya PhD ke baad you can directly go for professorship ya achhi achhi postdoc positions hai. This may you get paid really good around your, your stipend if you get a postdoc in USA is around like total stipend is around 50,000 which is around 50 lakh rupees when converted into INR. So I was like, okay, this is also a good option. And then you can come back to India and become a professor, which is a very highly reputed position. Also, uh, when I was working at IUAC, Inter University Accelerator Center, I realized most of the scientists have PhD from abroad. So it was very, uh, that, then I decided to, you know, think of PhD as a career. Usse pehle to koi idea hi nahi tha ki PhD bhi a career opportunity ho sakta hai. But then again, I finished my master's. So then I decided I'll give an exam called GATE, which is again conducted by IIT. 
so I gave GATE because uh, it if you qualify GATE, you're eligible for PhD uh, from IITs or other institute. And also you're eligible for, you know, scientist position. I was also looking for BARC or ISRO, ISRO positions at that time. And that's why I gave a gate exam while I was in MSc. So then uh, on the basis of that, I was giving uh, the bar uh, in like exams for bar. And also I, I applied uh, based on that gate score, which is usually valid for three years. Based on that gate score, I applied for ISRO in 2020, uh, 2020 uh, in February 2020. And last year when I was already like finished one year of my PhD in USA, I got the uh, call letter for the interview. So giving the gate exam is a very good option after doing MSc because it opens up opportunity for, you know, applying for um, your PSUs or Government Research Institute in India, as well as it is very much recognized in foreign universities like NTU Singapore. I'll come to that part later. But still, uh, I was interested, but still, uh, since my family wanted me to prepare for UPSC, I prepared for UPSC for three years. Initially, my plan was, okay, take a ek bar, dekhe, 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 like three. And then, you know, I was very young. I was just 22 when I finished my master's. So I was like, okay, how does it, um, it won't harm. Uh, but that one year was converted into three years because after giving one attempt, then you have this, you know, a tendency to give it again. Maybe this time I'll do better. But then after that, there was a lockdown. So exam was postponed for, you know, one year. And at that time, I realized this is not something I want to do. A, is my bahut zyada time lag rahe. Dusra, I mean, itna patience nahi hai. Or tisra, itna inclination bhi nahi hai. And at the same time, I was continuously, you know, thinking about PhD, thinking about applying to, for PSU. I was constantly applying for PSU. I was giving, uh, I was also uh, called for an interview as a scientist B for government of India. So I was giving those interviews also. So then I realized I'm not inclined towards this. So maybe I should not do this. And should, I should pursue uh, something with, in which I'm really passionate about. And that was science. So then I gave an uh, exam called IELTS because initially I was not even targeting US. My plan was that the three years of UPSC may in cook it in a kitty that it was a job means a PhD finished for me and I was only targeting Europe. But the problem which was happening in Europe was I got the interview call from Max Planck, from all the reputed universities, from University of Oxford also. And also I was applying to Australia. I got the reply from University of Melbourne professor. But there was a problem of funding. So I was giving interview, I was planning interview. But they were then asking me to apply for funding separately or arrange for funding. And there it was like extra task. And also I didn't have like any guidance or anything like how to apply for these funding. And also the funding usually which you get from these institute is not that that you can sustain or you have to apply again and again. Like it's not uh, awarded for three continuous years. For example, from NTU Singapore, I was applying for A star singer. Uh, scholarship so that was also not um like a, a extra work which I had to do and then you know so, uh, then I decided okay maybe I should apply for USA but because the positive point for USA is uh, you will always get fully funded PhD in USA you either you will be TA either you will be RA so paise thoda kam zada mil sakte hain but aapki puri PhD ek funded PhD hoti hai most of the time, or you do fees, nahi bharna hota, sab kuch, it's, everything is covered. You get health insurance, uh, you get money, and you get other perks also. And uh, that's why I decided to uh, apply for USA. And then again, in USA, I was writing email to professor. And then I heard back from uh, like around 50%. But uh, let like me tell you, like I, I wrote the email to around 150 professor. Initially, I was not getting the reply. But then I learned certain tricks like um, ki kis time pe email page na ki nine a.m. e I.S.T. pe jab aap email bejte hain to wahan pe raat hoti hai. To jab tak wo subah morning mein aayenge to aapka pura email kafi piche chala jayega. So they won't reply towards that. Also, it's better to you know send email from your institute ID. Like we had an ID from 
फ्रॉम आई एस एम लाइक आई आई टी आई एस एम ई टी यू तो उस आई डी से आप अप्लाई कर लाइक सेंड ई मेल सेंड करोगे तो आपको ज्यादा रिप्लाई आएंगे बिकॉज दैट जस्ट प्रूव द लेजिटिमिटी ऑफ द ई मेल बिकॉज प्रोफेसर इज अ लाइक प्रोफेसर इज एन अब्रॉड दे आर वेरी बिजी एंड ऑल द कॉम्युनिकेशन हैपन थ्रू ई मेल वेदर इट्स ग्रांड वेदर इट्स मीटिंग वेदर इट्स क्लासेज तो दे लुक इवन लुक एट योर ई मेल अगर वो पीछे है तो तो व्हाट आई यूज टू डू वर्स आई यूज टू सेट अ टाइमर कि नाइन ए एम जिस भी कंट्री में मैं अप्लाई कर रही हूँ उनको पहुंच जाए तो फिर क्या होता था जैसे ही प्रोफेसर मॉर्निंग में जा रहे हैं फर्स्ट टाइम दे आर ओपनिंग योर लैपटॉप द फर्स्ट ई मेल दे विल सी विल बी फ्रॉम मैथ फ्रॉम मी तो दे यूज टू लाइक रिप्लाई इवन इफ दे डेंट हैव फंडिंग दे यूज टू रिप्लाई टू मी For example, there was one professor from UT Austin. He told me, "Go there. I don't have a funding, but I can recommend you. Why don't you apply to Penn State?" And then I applied to Penn State. Same thing I did for Penn State was I was writing email to multiple. So I was uh, applying to multiple professors, and then I was hearing back from them. So even before applying, I had done some interview calls with many professors, and I knew definitely I'll get into that. तो इससे क्या हो गया कि हर एक एप्लीकेशन में आपको टेन थाउजेंड डॉलर या ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड डॉलर अप्लाई करने का लगता है तो वो मेरा बच गया बिकॉज आई ओनली अप्लाई टू फोर कॉलेजेस एंड आई गॉट द एडमिट फ्रॉम थ्री ऑफ दैम सो आई वाज वेरी मच सिक्योर्ड कि इधर इधर ही अप्लाई करना है और इसीलिए ही मैंने अप्लाई किया सो सेंडिंग द ई मेल टू द प्रोफेसर प्ले ह्यूज रोल एंड द लेटर ऑफ रिकमेंडेशन विच आई गॉट फ्रॉम माई प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्सिटी फ्रॉम आई आई टी माई मास्टर टीचर्स प्रोजेक्ट फ्रॉम द जी आर एफ वॉज गाइडिंग मी हु वॉज ऑलरेडी डूइंग अ पोस्ट डॉक एट नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न फ्रॉम अदर पीपल एंड द पेपर विच आई पब्लिश लाइक डूइंग माई मास्टर्स आई पब्लिश टू पेपर्स वन एंड आई ट्रिपल ई वन एंड आई ओ पी पब्लिकेशन सो दैट ऑल्सो प्लेड अ ह्यूज रोल इन बाई एप्लीकेशन क्योंकि अगर आपका जर्नल अच्छा नहीं है तो भी मतलब बहुत सारी स्किल्स पता चल जाती हैं अगर आपने एक पब्लिकेशन किया है तो एक रिसर्च कैसी है कैसी नहीं है वो एक अलग बात है बट उससे आपको पता चल जाता है कि अ स्टूडेंट इज केपेबल ऑफ राइटिंग स्टूडेंट इज केपेबल ऑफ कोलेबोरेटिंग विद अदर पीपल एंड वर्किंग क्योंकि जनरली एक पेपर में बहुत सारे ऑथर्स uh, होते हैं इट्स नॉट अ सिंगल ऑथर पेपर दैट हेल्प लाइक वर्किंग इन अ लैब लाइक यू नॉट गोन वर्क इन अ लैब अ लोन सो इट हेल्प even if you have a teaching experience like i used to teach online so that also played a huge role in my application because ultimately you have to teach like um if you are getting a te- teaching assistant chair then you are expected to teach for 2 hours uh, or like uh, around 6 7 hours in a week that's how why you are getting paid but um uh, like i was nominated for the highest fellowship by my department uh which is a uh, university graduate fellowship by Penn State so i get like 1000 dollar more per month as compared to other people so i don't have to teach but ideally you have to do teaching assistant or research assistantship in research assistantship you are working on some grant and then you have to do the research on that grant but if you have like a fellowship then you are not uh, expected to do any teaching or ra work but you just have to focus on your phd topic so that was something uh, which helped me a lot and that was also the major decision for choosing penn state um so that's all that's my journey so far so if you uh, are for students who have done your mbs in progress and you're thinking like what next you should do i think applying for a phd position in abroad is a great great opportunity and also i'm doing phd in engineering science although i am from msc physics background but i'm doing in engineering science uh phd because i wanted to work in industry or to the application based research mein bhi zyada karna tha as compared to you know theoretical research that's why i applied for this phd and um, the benefit of doing phd from us is you can also graduate with masters degree any time like if you don't want to do phd if you have done certain credit courses uh certain credit requirements then you can graduate with masters take up the industry job but it is still considered better to do phd because bahut sare benefits hain phd karne ke ek to aapko easily you are paid like much more as compared to when you do masters For example, an optical engineer in Metta with like a PhD will be given around three hundred k or two fifty k 
uh, salary. Whereas the person who has done like master, they will be given around 150k salary. So these are certain benefits of doing PhD. Uh, and even if you don't want to do it, you can just graduate with a master's degree and you're doing master's without paying like in crore for this degree. Usually if you apply for master's and do it on your own, you have to pay like large amount of money for this. So uh, that's why like there are like a lot of opportunities uh, if you've done your master's in basic sciences. So all the best and keep watching your PDF for more such information. Thank you.